and I'll kind of start at the beginning because uh, when we were first kind of shopping to labels, um, you know, we would hear the same thing over and over again, and it was something that I never really understood until later, but um, these labels would be like, we love you, we love what you do, but we don't know what to do with you because radio is not going to accept a woman in this genre. And you know, and at the time it was very few and far between. And then also, even if there are a couple, you know, radio stations will be like, well, we already have one girl band on our roster, let's not add another one. It's, it's ridiculous, but that's the way it is. Um, for me, um, I kind of kept the blinders on when we were starting to tour because I was the only one out there and I would forget, you know, and I was just like, oh yeah, I'm a girl, cool. Um, you know, and, and you go through those little things like, you know, somebody is always thinking that you're the girlfriend or you're the groupie or you are at the merch table and, you know, and that kind of thing. And, just, and then you get up and you do your thing and then you prove them wrong. And so I was using that for a long time as a weapon, mm -hmm. as in they're not gonna be expecting it to be me up there, so I have to bring it every single night. So in a lot of ways, it, it challenged me to be so much better at what I do. Um, a lot of the positives were you stick out like a sore thumb, you know, and then the negatives, yes, you do have to work a little harder and uh, a lot longer and and, uh, and in high heels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's working, whatever you all are doing, it's definitely working. Do you feel like the and a climate right now is a little bit more open for more female-led rock bands than it was maybe first when you got your start? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, at, at any given festival, there's so many, and it's always a huge tell if I have an interview with somebody, they're like, so what's it like being one of the only girls? I'm like, actually, you're not paying attention. Yeah. There's a lot of us out there. And uh, and I think this is, it's it's been a good thing. I know a lot of um, women have been brave enough uh, to stand up and come forward, um, you know, not just in the in the rock genre, but in, in life life in general and uh, we're all banding together and it's just such an important thing um, to be representing um, a woman that has been working and carving out her own, you know, my, I'm sorry, but my own path in, in my life um, because I get to stand up on stage every night and be like, no, see, you can totally do this because if I can, anybody can and you just got to keep going. So, and I have the best bandmates in the world, by the way, like there's, it, there's been nothing but amazingness from this side and they've always been super supportive of me and of women in general and you and go girl yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're my sisters for you know yeah. in a weird way yeah. and your real life brother it's kind of cool to be yeah. hanging all that time with your brother right it, and it, vice versa with your sister yeah well, when we yeah. first started it was basically just uh lizzie myself and our, our parents were with us so we just kind of always kept that family vibe and now it's Definitely brushed off on Joe and Josh. These guys are practically my brothers now. And um, not even just with the band, but also our crew, our, our tour manager, everybody that tours with us. You know, it's, um, it's important to have that, that close, you know, teammate mentality, you know.